A couple of other notes. Uh, SummerSlam, we have got uh, 2,400 tickets available. And currently, there are 42,000 tickets out for SummerSlam. About 5,800 tickets on the secondary market. The current capacity for SummerSlam is 44,000. However, they could open it up to 51,000 seats. Uh, given the available tickets left, eh, maybe. We'll see. But I, I, I believe that. we know all of the big matches for SummerSlam, so I don't think there's anything like... It's not like you can all of a sudden announce John Cena and then sell, you know, another... Uh, what would it be here? Uh, 51 minus 44, whatever that is. Uh, 10,000 tickets. Seven, well, they got 41 out, so... I don't you think, think they announced 50 anyway? Well, of course they will. Oh, okay. But, I mean, the actual numbers... Here are the the actual numbers. So the other uh, big note here today is, remember that Raw that I reviewed yesterday? And I said, well, you know, it wasn't a terrible show, but it was just there. Same match as we see over and over again. Well, the Olympics are over, everybody. There's no football. There's no real competition. And I found this number to be a little disconcerting. 1.79 million viewers down 2% from a week ago when they were going head-to-head with the Olympics. And, in fact, it was the lowest audience for Raw since the last time that they were in the Thunderdome. So my theory, and I think anyone with a brains theory, is that, well, we're going to do better than the Thunderdome because there's actual live fans there. I mean, right? Right. Well, they got a bump when uh, it's very much. Uh, this is very similar, by the way. If this trend continues, this is exactly what happened when they went into the Thunderdome. They were doing a certain number uh, in empty arenas. Then they created this uh, fancy Thunderdome. Numbers went up because it felt like a real show again. But then they dropped down again, and we have brought back live fans to Raw. And uh, as of Monday, with no Olympics, can I add that no Olympics? We are back to where we were when we were in the Thunderdome. That's not good. So we'll see what happens on Friday for SmackDown. And we'll see what happens to AEW as well. Because they've had four weeks of one million plus viewers. And quite frankly, if you look at the card for tonight, this is not a blow away show. This is not a big marquee show tonight. So if this show tonight does above a million, which it may then things are going very well for AW. So we'll see how it goes. I think the biggest thing to point out from the numbers for those people who like those types of demo numbers are the fact that people 18 to 49, only a 36,000 person difference between impact, between dynamite and between raw and 12,000 people, 35 to 49, 14,000 people, 18 to 34. Those numbers are just closing uh faster and faster and faster on raw and that's the biggest thing is you know they're down to the numbers that they were inside the thunderdome or whatever but AEW continues to rise and yeah this might be a show that drops under a million tonight but it's not going to drop much under a million i wouldn't think with what they've done over the last couple of weeks so i mean no way i i can't believe that it would be below 950 below 975 uh, i guess possibly it could be between that and a million but i, I just don't think the drop is going to be that deep just because we do have this new show rampage coming up people are still buzzing about cm punk brian danielson all that sort of stuff who might show up and this and that so uh, you know i i would i'm not saying i'd bet good money but i would be on the side of betting for them going over a million tonight we have one more oh we do yeah this is from uh tl There's nothing scary about you, chap, no matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.